Did you see that John recently unboxed the Synology 1512 Plus? He's gonna be doing a comparison of it and the Dropo soon, but in the meantime, one of our viewers, Gene, did an unboxing of the Big Daddy Synology. Take a look. Hey, this is Gene for GeekBeat TV, and today we're gonna to do a test of the Synology 2413 Plus. We're gonna start with the unboxing. As you can see, we've got the drives and the device sitting right here. And then from that, we'll continue on to the actual software for the device and a test of its functionality. So, let's get started with the unboxing itself. We've got six drives ordered for the device, and these are four terabyte drives. So, six times four, 24 terabytes. Uh, of course, the RAID will take some of that space away. I'll just show you what one of these drives looks like. We'll be using the Seagate Barracuda 4 terabyte drives for this. All right, let me move these aside. We'll unbox the actual network attached storage. And of course, inside of this box is another large box. So we'll get that out. All right. And I'm just going to tilt this down. Let's see if we can get this without everything flying all over the place. And of course, if it does fly, that's what warranties are for, right? All right, so I think I've almost got it. All right, get rid of that box. Decent package. There we go. The Synology 2413 Plus network attached storage device. We'll show you more close ups in just a sec, but you can see from this, we've got 12 drive base here, which will fit any hard drives up to four terabytes right now. And we've started off with six, so we'll fill up one of these. And on the back, couple of large fans, a uh, couple of USB 3 uh, jacks for copying data over quickly, as well as a couple of uh, gigabit Ethernet ports, 
and then uh, some more uh, just uh, USB 2.0 ports for connecting miscellaneous peripherals. Serial port for the old school style uh, UPS connection. And then this up here is an InfiniBend connection. So that will let you connect up an expansion unit which will add 12 more drive bays for a total of 24 drive bays which will be up to 96 terabytes of disk space. Now we're not going to go quite that high right now. And a regular PC style power adapter. All right, let's take a look at the installation procedure. So we'll just unlock this. It looks like it's unlocked right now. I assume the key is in here. And sure enough it is. So unlike some network cache storage devices, there is only one key here which locks and unlocks every tray at the same time. So we'll just go ahead and pop one of the trays out. Uh, metal construction, I would assume aluminum, with lots of, uh, uh, lots of holes on one side. Not quite sure what for. All right, let's take our first drive. Of our pack of Seagates. going to drop that in and attach it. Since the holes on the sides don't seem to do anything, I guess I'm attaching it at the bottom. I uh, just need to line up, there we go, a couple of holes. Comes with uh, all the screws you need. It looks like there's probably some spares here as well. Uh, regular flat head screws that we should be able to screw in here in a hurry. Um, I'm just going to start off by putting one of these drives in, uh, assuming the rest of them will go just as smoothly. There we go. Now there's not going to be a whole lot of vibration where this is sitting, so I am going to cheat, as I often do, and just put two screws in. That should be sufficient enough to hold the sled and the drive together. Pop that in, and lock it in place. And we've got the protective film here, of course. Take that off. Uh, looks like all we have is just one power button. Saddle slight alert light to let us know something's wrong and then LAN 1 and 2 activity lights. So at this point we can lock the device in, plug it into power, connect it on Ethernet and then start going through the initial initialization process. Awesome! Well, that's the unboxing. We'll let you know when his review comes out as well. Thank you so much, Gene. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye!